Good morning, everyone. This is Seiko. It is the core peach and more. C, P, and M. All right, so Sunday, November 7th, right? It feels dark, but I cannot do any more lights. All right, so start with the squat as usual. So put your feet your toes straight forward. You can op open a little bit if you want to and lift your whole body up from the feet. Lift, good. And no weights to start with. Down, so you just feel how you feel your muscles, joints today, you know, changing them day by day. So it's really important, pay attention what you feel today, right? So, and you gotta make sure you don't push too much. I want you to push a little bit, right? So that's the type, you know, things you have to figure out. So make sure your feet are flat on the floor. And as you go up, all the way back, not lock your knees. And good. Give me eight more. You feel it? Start warming up. Seven. Six, five, four more, Ooh. three, yes, two, Ooh. one, and hold. Where are you? Lowest or not quite lowest, but this, you feel like that's the lowest you can go and hold, hold. Have you done a wall squat? You know, it's a little harder because you have to put your back on the wall. So you have to go straight up and you feel it. But if you have time, because I don't have walls to use it and I'm not sure anybody has enough wall to do it. So I never done that in the class, but I try it straight up. Good, and go down. Straight up your upper body and down. Four more, suck your tummy in, three, Woo. and two, Woo. without lifting up too much, one and hold, Woo. and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and hold, Woo. and go down, so you don't have to act like you're on the wall, good, and step your left foot in, close your knees, good, and squeeze, and open again, and squeeze in, good, four more, Woo. three, and two, Woo. I feel this side, one, back, and glue it together, good, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one step side and back. So make sure your hips are not going up and down, right? Just slide into the side. Beautiful. Glue it together every time. Shift your weight. Good. Four more. And three, two, ouch. And one. Here, good. Keep your knees together, good. And your arms straight down and up and up. So you engage your abs every time you move your arms, your palms facing each other. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, squeeze your back as well. Two, one and hold. And bring your pinkies inward. That means you rotate your shoulders and back. Eight, seven, six from front. Five, four, three, two, Squeeze your glute, one, now palms down. Good, good, good. 
and open to the side and above your head. Good. And stay low if you can, right? Grab the bar and pull down. And somehow your bar's soft. Go all the way up. Good. And press up. Pull down using your back muscle. Good job. Four more. Three. How's your tummy? Don't stick out. Two. Resistance. One. And back. And go above. And down. Oh, I feel it. I hope you do too. Sip water. Good. Grab the heavy weight with your left hand, left arm. Open your toes. Now sumo squat, uneven, right? So one side is heavy, but to keep it at the center and up. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Open your glute and squeezing up. Of course, your knees are not locked. Just before you want it locked, stop it. And, but instead, squeeze your glute and lift your tummy. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale, and press up. Inhale, and up. Maintain the center weight. Four more. Three, two, woo. one, and hold. Woo. Hold it, hold it. Try to make your thighs, quads, almost the parallel to the floor. And I want to go a little wider. Good. Open your toes. Good. And up and down. Eight, seven, six, woo. five, four, three, two, one, and back up. Whew, you have another shoulder, another arm, I assume, right? So even, level, level, go down, level, and back up. Inhale, exhale. Don't forget your tummy. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So just imagine your glute that, you know, your butt open and close. It's kind of like heart shape, upside down and squeezing in. Can you do that in your head? Because visualizing is really effective. Instead of thinking something or watching, a, you know, somewhere, somewhere else or thinking about the Seahawks game. Inhale. Exhale. Now ready to press up and up. So don't lock your elbow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Your upside down heart shape. Open and close. Close and lift it up. Whew. Four more. Out. Three. Yes. Chill. One and hold. Parallel, parallel. Go lower if you can. Feel the good stretch. And pulse. One, two, three, four more. Four, three, two, one. Ooh. Good. And hold it with both hands. And swing up. Two. So be careful. Especially if you have an extra heavy. You don't want to go swing like this, right? Swing, but straight up. Control. Shoulders down. It's really important. Not this, right? Shoulders away at the top. Pull down your shoulder blades and your stomach. Nice and tight. You're working on the core. Same time. Four more. Three. Two, one, and up. The other side. Now you twist. 
down, up, down. And if you want to work harder, go low and go swing, up, swing. But a control movement. Don't lock your elbows. Oh, four more. Four, up, three. Heels up, two, yes, and one. Good job. Center. Oh, good job. All right, so here, uh, starting from the you, my right side, your left side, step forward and back. Sometimes I do carry it here, but it's purposely carrying this. So don't try to lean towards, maintain the center. That's why I'm only using one, right? And back. You gotta use, connect your torso, your core muscle to lift back. When you don't have any core strength, it's really hard, this movement, front lunge, good. And four more, three, make sure your back toe and heel align, two, great job, one and hold from the side, right here, good. And bring your dumbbell underneath and up, go under, and up, go under, up. So front knee doesn't lock like this, right? Still soft, but your butt is hard. Whew. That's how you lift your glute, right? Last, and last two, last one, hot it right here. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push back up. Holy cow, 10 extra pounds. Imagine you gain 10 pounds. You feel this, right? Ah, but I'd rather keep it just a weight than I can drop it and I'm 10 pounds lighter. So stand up, feet flat, lift your uh, belly button, press back, and go down. Your back knee go closer to the floor and push back up. If you can't really come back up smoothly, drop your weight and up. Lift from your core, your abs. Good. You're going to help. Whew. Tighten up. Go up. Good. Ooh, how many more? Let's do six. Ooh. Better than eight, right? Five, four more, four. I'm touching my back knee to the floor. Good, two more, you can do it. Ooh. Last one and hold. Go underneath and up. Go underneath and up, squeeze. Go underneath from the front heel, down and up, down. Chest up the whole time, don't round, right? Don't reach out, right here and up. Three more or four more, three, Whew. two, yes, one, hold and Eight, stay low, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly back up. Hi, <laughs> are you still alive? Don't run away. We still have time before the game. <laughs> Woo Let's do. Plank. Ready? Plank series. On your hands, if you can. If you don't feel like it, on your knees. Let you feel energized. Good. On your toes. Good. 
and push the heels back closer to the floor and forward. Now your shoulders ahead of your wrist. And if you have any issues on your wrist, just be careful. You can do with the forearms. It's sometimes it's harder. Good, so neutral neck. That means your eyes on the floor, not straight down, two couple foot away. But you don't have to look up. Good, heels closer and up. So don't go this, right? Check. If you have mirror or videos on, check your form all the time. And back in here, hold it, hold it. So your shoulders slightly back behind your wrist, your heels closer, then bring your heels together in, inward and up and back in this straight above, good. Go down, heels in, squeeze your glute, squeeze your legs, straight up, back up, down, Ooh. above, down, Ooh. and up. Closer to the floor, squeeze your glute, good job. Four more, you can do it. You feel the shoulders, the shoulders away from the face, please. Pull down your shoulder blades as well. Last one, and closed. So your toes out, your heels right inward, and stick out your booties like a pike. And down, up, and down, up, and down, up. Stick out your tailbone, towards the ceiling and your navel go really deep sticking in okay four more and three doing great two oh, one and hold Woo. and bring your heels back right and drop your tailbones good job and bring your toe forward and back. Toe in the middle, good. So use your abs to bring your knee. And keep breathing, four more. And three, two, one. Back knees, toes goes. Oh, did you feel it? I did. My shoulders too. So, and a good stretch. And come back. And on your back. Where's my weights? Good. Do it again. I did the last time, I think, or the Tuesday or Thursday. So put your weights under your navel. And this time, your knees together. Your feet are out like this, right? Good. And bring your navels all the way down, almost touching the floor. Don't let knees open, right? Keep it nice and tight. You feel the inner thigh nicely tight. Squeeze your starfish. By the way, starfish is in the middle of your butt. All right, so, and inhale. Don't make the arch, arches down, press, press the 10 pound. If you have five pounds, pop up your weights by just using your abs. Don't use the hips or back. If you don't, if you can't pop up, that's okay, but at least you're gonna feel it. Concentrate there, pop. I'm just supporting my weight so it's not gonna go rolling down or rolling back up towards my stomach. Hi, how are you? 
Hold your starfish nice and tight, your knees together, your inner thighs squeezing, multitasking. You need my pelvics, my weights. And how many more? Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, so support, uh, hold your weight, one weight, and putting on the under your knee and bring your toes down a little bit and knees away so it's a 90 degrees and rolling your weight further down and bring back up. Just a couple rolls is fine. Inhale, no, no arch. Exhale, tighten up and rolling your weight. Don't drop it. And back up. Feel it. Don't focus too much on your weight. You're gonna focus on your abs, right? Shoulders up, rolling down as far as you can. I'm cheating, my knees are getting closer. Good. Exhale. Just one or two rolls away, that's fine. Go down. Two more. Up, press, press, press. You gonna feel the abs. And roll back. Last one. Exhale, exhale, and hold. Hold it, hold it. Good. And a little bit up and down. That, not all the way down. Only an inch. One, two, three. Don't pop up your navel. Press down instead. Four, three, two, one. Slowly now. Oh, drop your weights. All right, so flex. Now you're your heels away, right? And toes kind of towards your face. And lift and reaching, trying to reach close to your heel on the same side so that it's a side crunch. If you feel your head is too heavy now, support, support. Or you can do both ways. One, two, three, Press down, five, six, seven, eight. Don't forget, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> How's everyone? Doing good? Let's do the lower tummy. All right. So close your rib cage, press down, inhale. Exhale, now make a shallow dish right here, right? So you can pour the water and you can hold for a while. Good, and pointing toes and lift your tailbones. If you have to, support with your hands and press the floor so you can lift and down. Or you, if you don't need the help, arms up. So make sure you're curling up your tailbones and you can't really, you know, the other people can't tell what you're doing and what you're focusing, but you know it. Your whole legs with the gravity is a good weight. So, and it's all into the lower part of the abs and you lift straight up, not this, right? This is much easier and you're using not just the lower tummy, more like legs and the glute or a back. I want you to focus on right here. So only one inch or half inch is okay. Four more, three and two and one and hold. It's only small space, just a late, you know, very lift it good and hold it now i feel really hard on my lower tummy and so it's upper tummy too right good good again hold it hold it Whew. eight seven six five four three two one <sighs> good job 
All right, so right here, keep that up. straight, straight legs and open your legs and you reach and bring back, make sure your toes are out, tap your heels and my knees are not locked, almost locked, open and lift your back and up and Good. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Whew. Four. And three. Reach, reach. And two. And one and hold. So I'm going to open more. It's wider. And one, two three, four, five, press the navel, don't make the arch, eight, seven, you can do it, follow me, stay with me, two, one, down, Whew. stretch your lower back, and extend, stretch your tummy, Whew. we're going to do the bicycle, right here, and up. So your shoulders up, hold it, and extend your one leg, which, whichever the side you want to start. So make sure you don't make the arch at the time. If you feel like you can't do without the arch, bend your knees. This is fine. And back. Same side. Up. Two more. Press, press. You don't have to make it really hard and so many times, as long as you focus it. Now we're gonna twist as you lift. One side only, and two. If you can't go any lower than this, this is fine. Keep your knees bent. But if you are strong enough and feel comfortable and do it right. So my elbow's reaching outside of my left knee good two more press press one and hold hold it hold it i you know i'm reaching so it's easier for me to hold if you can but try the best and extend your leg and bend extend and bend i feel this side my left side obliques Good. Two more. And one and hold. Woo. And back in the center. Back here. Now scissors. So scissors also, you can bend. Alternate. Shield chest. Shoulders up. Woo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three two, one, Whew. good timing, good, all right, so hold it, and down, exhale, and down, up, and I'm going to finish early today, because the game, I, I assume people want to watch it, most of it, but uh, just in case, you know, you'd rather do a little longer, you don't mind, just, you know, miss the beginning couple minutes. Okay. Stay with me. And now, cross. I talk too much. And whoop, what did I do? Right here. Right here, right here. And back. There. Four more. I have short time memories. Three. And two, ah, and one and hold and extend your leg and bend, extend and bend. Don't forget, tighten up your abs, your obliques right here. You gotta feel it. Four more, three, two, whew, one, straight up. If you can, keep the shoulders up or if you can't do it anymore, 
Do it on the flat. Make sure you don't have any arches. Scissors again. Eight, seven, six, modify. This is fine. Four, three, two, one. Ah, give your knees. Whew. And make it quick so we don't have, we can do, you know, I want it, I like the donkey kicks, but it has to take double. So we do just the bridge to focus on our teach. Good. So and wide open your feet, wider than your hips, right? And open your toes and lift your glute. And if you start feeling little, you know, pull stomach, uh, pull the muscle, then bring your toes in. Slightly open your toes. So you can work on the a uh, little bit different area and press your navel and curl up your tailbones. You're not going to do this, right? We're working on the glute. Good. Up, curling up, press down. Same movement as usual. You all know I'm doing this forever, right? Every almost once a week showing up this one. Just I wanted to let you know tweak a little bit. Four more. Exhale and two and one and hold now it's a hovering and bring your knees in you don't have to touch it if you feel crump then change the toes positions eight seven six keep squeezing keep in flat three two one and hold and up 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 one two three four five six ooh seven eight more eight seven six five four three two one and hold ooh, bring your keep your butt nice and tight bring in all together and now you feel the inner thighs squeezing. Good. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're not done yet. Step forward with toes up. Step forward. Step forward. Step forward. Away. Away. Still have space. Don't touch. Your butt is still on the air as far as you can. Now it's so long away. Ooh, hold it, support with your arms and hold it, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop. Ah, ah, your knees. Good job. And round and straight legs. Now it's cool down. Shake, shake, shake. Bring the blood back. Straight down with the gravity. Kick your booties with your heels. Good job, everyone. Whew. All right, you can turn on the game if you want. And grab the toes and bring towards the navels and open your knees a little wider, bigger. And bring your left foot down, right, right leg up straight, pointing toe, flex, circle, and reverse. And check behind your knees. And same time, bring your leg towards the chest so you feel the good stretch and massage however you want. Right, good. And all the way to the corner, press with the thumbs. The corner on the um, foot and ankle, the good spot, easy to accumulate and get heartened. And massage the toes and massage the bottom of your foot. Have you done this right in a normal, you know, daily life? We keep forgetting those parts. And open your leg, keep your booties down. 
and back, extend your leg, bend your knee, and twist to keep your shoulders down. Look over the shoulder. Good. And now figure four, put your foot on the thigh through the hole, bring your leg in. So you feel the right side, glute, whew, nicely, painfully stretched. Good. And switch side, left leg up. Oh, I forgot the pointy toe. Flex, circle, reverse. Oh, make the cracking noise. And straight leg or bend your knees a little bit and towards the chest at the same time. Massage behind your knee with the eight fingers and open the palms. Gentle touch on the skin. And all the way to the corner, press shiatsu, acupuncture, pressure, and all the way to the toes, kind of squeezing your toes and bottom of the foot. All right, put your hands open in leg. You feel the inner thigh nicely stretched. Close, extend, bend your knee and twist. So you feel the obliques and the hips nicely stretched. And back to the center, figure four, put your foot on the thigh, through the hole, bring your right leg in. So keep your left knee out. You can push towards back for more stretch. Inhale, exhale, extend your legs, arms overhead, bend your knee, flip over, facing down, put your hands on the thigh, and cobra pose. And if you feel comfortable, go all the way up. And I'm going to add, even this is cool down, go down and up. Go down and up. Or you can do this and up. This is in the more parts. Because we're going to stretch arms and shoulders after this. Good. And slowly down. Grab the ankle. Lift your knees. Quad the stretch. He flexes as well. Four, three, two, one. Slowly down. Push yourself back up. Child's pose. Right arm under the left arm. Put the right shoulders down. Oh, open your upper back. Good. The other side. Underneath. Your left shoulders down. The other shoulder pushing down so you can open your upper back. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Open your knees. This is really good stretch, especially if you have a lot of, you know, hours sitting on the chair and squeeze your glute and push him back between and forward. Exhale. And back. Your shoulders and your hips are about level. Same height. You're not going to bring your hips down as you push back and hold. And you feel good stretch right here. Right? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly back up. Cross your legs. Side to stretch and back. Stretch and back. Stretch and reach to the upper corner and look up the sky and facing down, reaching to the lower corner there. You feel good stretch on your obliques. The other side and back. Exhale. Last one. Reach a little bit more without lifting your hips and open your chest. And facing down, pointing a corner there so you feel a stretch from the hips all the way to the shoulder and arm. Good. And big circle. Cross the fingers, drop your tailbones, look down. Looks like a shape of C alphabet. And shoulders away, pull down your shoulder blades as usual. Suck your tummy in, reach out your hands. 
overhead, open your arms, cross fingers in the back and push back your shoulders really nicely and chins up, kissing the sky and open your mouth to the side in a big smile and chins up. Good. Four, three, two, one. Down. Arms cross, shoulders down, head to the right. Open, cross, shoulders down, head to the left. Ooh. Triceps with crunch on the side. Don't lift your hips and facing down. Good. And back the other side. Don't pull the um, elbow joint directly, right? A little above and facing down. Good. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Inhale. Exhale. Open your lungs. Deep in. Exhale everything. Thank you so much, everyone. Nice to see you on Sunday morning. And uh, so next one will be B Tuesday. Tuesday, 11.30, right? Yeah. yeah, you have to work, right, Mike? Oh, miss oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> Good, you, you know. It's the score a is uh, Buffalo 14, zero for us. What? Yeah. yeah. They missed the last. <laughs> oh, so we have to go watch the game and cheer up. Okay, so next one, we, 11.30 next uh, Tuesday, 10th. Uh -huh. So enjoy the game if you want to. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Yeah. Katrina, Yuka Chan, Anna, Yuka Chan, Ai Chan, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> We're losing. Oh my. Oh wow. She was.